Hello crafty friends, this is the paper chef here, and this is my mother. This weekend we're celebrating my mother's 85th birthday. My neighbor Jenny and I got together and created these party favors. I wanted to go over that project with you in this video before my family gets here and starts tearing these up. Okay, and this is a card that we're all going to be signing for her birthday. So here is the display of party favors using the birthday memories suite. And then up here is the banner. Now every image on the banner is different and between each image is a piece of designer series paper. So what I'd like to do is show you the materials that I used to create this project. And I also want to show you what I'm doing for the kids party favors, which are a little different. They're not going to have her image in it. The kids party favors have these cute little mini monsters in them. And they have some toys as well. And candy. But I like how the little monster peeks out of the bag as opposed to her image. Okay, so I got this idea when I went to Joanne the other day. And I saw this package called Event Maker on clearance. Okay, and it was, it was $6.97 and then I actually had a 20% off coupon for signing up for their internet for that day. Okay, so bags ended up being a great deal. Next I, I went to my mom's albums because she hasn't even seen these yet. This is actually gonna be a great surprise. But I did say, hey mom, can I put your picture on YouTube? And she said, if it's a picture of me when I was younger, sure. So here we are. But she's going to be pleasantly surprised, I hope. Well, my friend Jamie told me that if you get a scrapbook album and you use a program called PhotoMine, that you can just snap an image and it will scan it for you. And so I said, I'd have to check, check this out. So I downloaded the PhotoMine app and I just, all of these images, Every one of them, I just took a photo of her scrapbook. And then it digitized the image for me. I then uploaded the images to Walgreens. And then what I did is I asked for the postcard size option. And I was able to use coupon for that as well. I used a 40% off photo, photo gifts. Okay, and that's how I was able to get these cut down or down to the size that would fit into the front of these bags. Okay. Now, let, next I'm gonna come over here and get a bag. Okay, now as you can see, if from just looking at this display, that there's consistency in the stamping. I used real red, Pacific Point, and black. And the reason it's consistent and every single stamp is in the exact same spot is because I used my Misty stamping tool. Okay, I have it set up here. I'm not about to get out ink while I'm holding an iPad. But here we have the Misty stamping tool. You put the blank bag inside it and then you tape it down, okay? Because if, if you don't get a clean stamp the first time, you can just re-ink, okay? You ink up your stamps, close it, press, okay? And then when you lift, because it's taped, the bag will not stick. But you see how it would stick to the stamps if you don't tape it down. Okay, so that's how I lined these. And then next thing I did was I cut out the balloons. Well, actually I stamped a page of balloons in, in black, basic black, cut them out using the coordinating framelit. And then I used the watercolor pencils to color in the balloons with coordinating colors. Okay, I also used the framelits for cutting out these different designs, like the little fox and the banner and different embellishments for for these bags but then if you see my other video you, you'll see it in my introduction to birthday memory suite that I cut out all the poodles using my brother's scan and cut because there's a whole page of poodles in the designer series paper and only one die and that die is great for cutting out this particular poodle but I wanted all the poodles and that way I was able to use those as embellishments I also used the brother scan and cut to cut out you know, the bears and the balloons and, 
and things like that. Okay, and that, of course, you can see the stamp set I used and then ran out of clothespins based on the bags that I purchased. So I was in my book and found this whole box of clothespins in the clearance section. And so that's why all the bags have different color clothespins in them. Okay, and then this is uh, some sparklers we're gonna be putting on the cupcakes that say 85. Okay, so that is an introduction to this birthday memories sweet party favors for my mom's 85th birthday. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Thank you.